is going on, guys? How you guys doing? So, if I get started to do, well, let's just get started right now. Anyways, I got this video quite later here. But, anyways, guys, so this video is on my uh, 99 Ford Bronco. There's a lot of different things to this thing, so this video is going to be about what you should have on a off-road vehicle. Or, like, what you should have, you know, when you go off-road and stuff. So, the first thing, I'm going to start with this 48-inch high lift jack. This is a black jack. Oops, that's actually the name on it. 48 off-road a 48 inch off road jack. This is to jack up your vehicle when you go off road. Um, unfortunately for me, this is just about like the perfect size, I believe, for my truck. It depends where I want to jack up at. Whew. Uh, yeah. What does it follow? Jacking right here. Oh, it's the perfect size. But anyways, so after that, so if you have one of those, you are good. One of the important things is to have LEDs. I have that one and the one on the top. And, it's, and I also have these lights. And the reason why I point out to the side is because when I'm going through the trailers, I want to be able to see everywhere, everywhere. Um, this is a straight LED, meaning this is straight. The one up here is a curved LED. I don't know if you can see that, but it is curved. So, it is like that and not that. You just man's doy. I'm walking on cars all night. Which, actually, one of them is right here under this. If you guys know what this is, make sure you guys leave in comments. If you guys are, if you are a car guy, then make sure you leave it in the comments. Very fast car, very fast car. It will probably beat your car. But anyways, LEDs to see. These are pointed out so you can see everything left and right. Even though that light up there will shine left and right. Just helps to really see. And the, one of the most important things is this, a winch, alright? This winch, so it's not even fucking locked all the way. Let me actually pop my hood and uh, wind this in or whatever. Just to, I need to redo my cable because it is all over the place. But if you guys want to know how to actually hide your wires, my wires just be here. That's the box. <laughs> That's the receiver and shit. I also have camouflage seat covers now. Um, also, tow rope helps a lot. Wish I have that right there. Um, CB radio helps. Fucking. I'm wishing here. But floor mats help. <laughs> but, anyways. Um, I need to fix my winch real fast. A fishing pole helps too. Ever get lost and you need food or you go fishing, huh? Alright. Now, I just need to, since um, that's that piece right there has to be facing down, and it's not facing down, it's facing sideways. So, I have to open this and I'll cut out a little square for this piece. So let's pop this open. There we go. And then guess what? That's because this, there we go, that's how it's supposed to be, down. Now, out. So 
this out. Don't ever put your hand close to here. Ever. I'm not trying to be like your dad or anything, but don't ever. Because you get your fingers stuck in here. My fingers like fit in here. But your fingers don't. Do you know how bad that would hurt? It hurts really, really bad. But anyways, let me wrap this up real fast and then I'll show you guys some more stuff what you guys would need. Yeah, if you guys do not know. Um, I got all this stuff for Christmas. I got, well, not all of it. I got the hijack and the LED. I bought the winch for 400 bucks and stuff like that. Very, very nice shark. I love this thing. Oh, yeah. Make sure if this. The fuck is over there? Fucking socks are on the face that come at me. Anyways, always close this and now it gets in there. I love it in here because it's like hidden. It's hidden and you know, it's supposed to mount on the back of this, but it's not. Also, when you have your wires like this, be careful. Be very careful. But you know, it's all here. And this. Oh shit, hey! What size is Five eighths. I honestly have about more than a dozen of these no lie but anyways so I can't do what the guy done he closed no problem but anyways yeah so um I usually put this with my toe open, but it's not right now it's a tackle box and shit like that oh my god look in the back Oh, you guys can't really see. I have a radiator. And I have so much shit in the back. But anyways, um... <sighs> Beautiful dents. But anyway, oh yeah. This actually fell off one day. And it says bro. B-R-O now. But it says... NCO pretty much, but uh Yeah, I thought it was pretty funny because I have a little piece of metal that says bro now, but anyways. Yeah. Oh shit Shit shit. shit. Let me actually turn this off real fast For y'all I want to show you guys how bright these lights are So if you look over here right now You can't see shit, all right? Alright, alright. I gotta look up my wild like building this. Now look. That's the light. Then I have these. Super super bright. But yeah, it literally shines. All, I can literally see all the way down there. Like, two swing sets. It's crazy. And when you're inside the truck, let's see if you guys can see it. Oh, that's on the outside. Am I keep sitting here? Oh, no. By the way, but you guys can see the hood, everything light up. It lights up pretty good. Yeah, these are like, the front ones. All for like over there. That one's for over there. This one's for the straight head. That one's for anywhere, pretty much, you know. But it is very, very nice to have. I uh, zip tie this bitch right back to that part. But, anyways, guys, I'm gonna go try to get some rest. Huh. God damn. Fucking door. <sighs> yeah. I hate that fucking door right now. Um, let's put this up fast. 
stowing my truck so no one can see it and steal it. These are about 100 bucks. Because one got it from Walmart. Also, if you guys want like how big a step that is, it's about almost up to my waist. It's not that big. About 34 inch lift. It's That's that. I got, and I say Hoyos, so I use that, but now I got no one over there. But, <clears throat> nothing's leaking through, so that's good. Yeah, let's put this.